welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourites of the month. Let's get going. Uh, first up I have got a perfume. I lost this when I moved house and I've recently just found it again. It's the Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel Paris. That's this one here. Absolutely love this. It's a really grown up scent and it smells gorgeous and it stays with you. It's not one of those ones that you spray on and then you forget about it and it, it you just lose the scent of it. This one really stays with you. It's a really floral note and it's really delicate as well. I just think it smells absolutely amazing and I just love it. So I will happily buy another one of those when I run out of that. But I keep that one for my best because it smells so good. Um, next up on smells, I have got a candle. Um, I have got the Daisy Picking Candle by Zoella. Um, as you may know, I've already got the Seaside Stroll one, but I finished that and I've bought this recently on my boots haul. Um, I've started using it now and it smells absolutely fabulous. Um, it smells really fresh and it's subtle and it gives you a nice sort of clean, fresh scent in your house, which is really nice and I love to keep burning that along with my other candles at the back there. On to makeup, I have got the NYX Strobe of Genius highlighting palette here. This one is really great. Um, I'm really enjoying using this and using all the different colours that it comes with in the set. Um, it's really easy to use and it's really pigmented as well so it's going a long way. Uh, also with makeup I have got my Max Factor Honey Liquor uh, Liquid Lipstick here. Um, that's what I've got on today. It tastes really nice. There's a subtle hint of honey in there. Um, it's really nice. I just love the packaging on this with the geometric design as well. Um, but it's an absolute favourite of mine. It's a really nice colour and something different for me going a bit darker in shade. But I've really enjoyed using this. Also with makeup I have got this brush. This is a new brush from Real Techniques that I've purchased. This is a foundation brush. Since I've been using this it's been an absolute revelation. It's much easier than using my beauty blender across my whole face. Um, I just use that for blending in when I've got to put my uh, cover up on there, my concealer. And this is a really, really soft brush. It's got an angled edge on there, just excuse me, I need to wash it. Um, but it's really nice and it matches the same colour as my other brushes as well which is good so now I'm building up my collection of those brushes from Real Techniques but they are really good brushes and um, you can get those in boots. Uh, now on to a book. Uh, my favourite book at the moment is Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, as the second movie has now come out on DVD, it's everybody's rushing to go and watch that. Um, I've seen it already and I've just got back into the books again, so I'm determined to finish all three before the third one comes out in February. Um, I'm really enjoying getting back into them. It's a great story, um, along with all of the hanky-panky and stuff, but it's got a really good deep story with it. Um, and I just, I'm really enjoying it and it's a really good book to read. I've got two items left. I have got a drink that is the Diet Coke Citrus Zest. This is my absolute fave. Um, I really loved it. I was drinking it loads before and then I forgot all about it. I recently discovered it again and I just absolutely love it. I just think it's really nice to have a citrusy kind of drink but also the flavour of coke as well I mean who doesn't like coke but um, I really love adding the citrus note I'm one of those people that always has the like the lemon in my drink or you know things like that and I really enjoyed it and so I'm really loving that and it's perfect for this hot weather as well and last up as well on a drinks note but not a drink itself um, is this here I got this from Sainsbury's uh, it's got its own straw and it's a hard plastic straw as well and it's got a little bobble on the end so that the straw doesn't come out which is a really good idea. I just really liked it. I thought it was really pretty and summery and it's something that, that you can use again and again without having any problems with that and you don't have to keep wasting bottles and things as well which is really good and it's just enjoyable to have that. Um, I made my own uh, iced frappe the other day and, and put it in there so it was really nice and could pretend I was having a Starbucks at home, which was good. Okay, guys, that is my favourites of the month. Why am I not focusing? Come on, focus. Hello, focus. There we go. Okay guys, that is my favourites of the month. What's your favourite from my collection here? And what's your favourite from yours for this month? Why don't you let me know and add a comment down below. And if there's any other videos that you'd like to see from me, also add that in that comment and we'll have a little chat. 
If you really like this video, then give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And subscribe if you haven't already. And click that little bell button so you know when my new videos come out. I'll see you soon. Bye.